In the previous video, you were introduced to linear combinations of vectors. A convex combination of vectors is a special type of linear combination. A convex combination is a linear combination in which the sum of the coefficients is equal to 1. Before we calculate some convex combinations, let's think about what they mean. Consider the vectors u and v, rooted at the same origin in two-dimensional space. If we draw a line segment from the tip of u to the tip of v, then any vector with the same origin, the tip of which lies on this line segment, is a convex combination of u and v. The set of all convex combinations of these two vectors is known as their convex hull, or their convex envelope. And if you think about it, there are an infinite number of convex combinations of these two vectors. So how do we go about calculating a convex combination of two vectors? You've already seen that a linear combination of two vectors can be described with the expression w equals s1 times v1 plus s2 times v2, where v1 and v2 are different vectors and s1 and s2 are scalars being applied to those vectors. Similarly, we can describe a convex combination of two vectors with the expression q equals alpha times u plus beta times v. It's the same expression with different symbols. However, for a linear combination to qualify as a convex combination, there are two conditions. Firstly, alpha plus beta must be equal to 1. Secondly, both alpha and beta must be greater than or equal to 0. Let's calculate a convex combination of these two vectors with coefficients of, let's say, alpha equals 0 0.25 and beta equals 0 0.75. They add up to 1 and they are both bigger than 0. We can now substitute the vector coordinates and the coefficients into the equation. And when we perform the calculation, we produce a new vector, q, the tip of which lies on the line segment connecting the tips of u and v. Notice that the line segment connecting u and v has been split in the same proportions as alpha and beta, namely 0.25 and 0.75. Let's see another example with the same pair of vectors. This time, alpha is 0.5 and so is beta. As before, they add up to 1. When these coefficients are substituted into the equation and the same calculation is performed, we generate a new vector with coordinates 5.5, 3.5. Notice that this vector also splits the line segment in the same proportions as alpha and beta, namely in half. Here's one more example with these two vectors. This time we'll split alpha and beta in the proportions one-third and two-thirds. Strictly speaking, these values have recurring decimal places, so this time there will be some approximations in the calculations. Notice again that the line segment between u and v has been split in the same proportions as alpha and beta. And let's take a quick look at a convex combination with two different starting vectors. This time u and v both have negative coordinates. The coefficients are again 0.5 and 0.5. As before, the tip of the new vector lies on the line segment connecting the tips of u and v. Convex combinations have countless applications, including a few rather unlikely ones. For example, in the field of metabolic engineering, the network of chemical reaction pathways inside a living cell can be modelled with convex combinations of vectors. These can then be manipulated to mass-produce new substances such as medicines and food. Convex combinations can be used to calculate and control the forces generated by the grip of a robotic hand or a bionic prosthesis. 
Convex combinations also have an important role to play in computer games programming. For example, to calculate the damage done by a shotgun blast in a 3D shooter.